It's time for another gardening update. It's the middle of June, but it feels more like the middle of August here. Let's go take a look at what's going on. The potatoes are starting to yellow just a little bit, and when those die back, it'll be time to harvest. As you can see, the garlic is starting to turn yellow. Everyone has their own way of doing it, but I like to harvest ours when about the bottom four leaves start to turn yellow. At that point, I pull one out of the ground just to see what it looks like. And this one looks pretty good, and I think it's time to pull the rest. The garden is growing very well, even though our temperature has been over 100 degrees recently, or 37.7 Celsius. The summer months are when the sunflowers really start to shine, and this one's getting ready to bloom. In past years, I've grown American Giant, Giant Gray Striped, Mammoth Russian, and Velvet Queen. This year I'm growing about two dozen sunflowers. Some of them are pretty small still, but they'll be easier to see in weeks to come. This year I'll be growing Bohemian Rhapsody, Velvet Queen, Mongolian Giant, and a few that the birds planted for me. Sunflowers are great for attracting pollinators to your garden. The sweet potatoes are growing well on the straw bales and it's getting harder to see the bales all the time. We've harvested a few peppers and we'll be harvesting a few more very soon. The albino bullnose pepper is still loaded with peppers and I'll be picking a couple of those soon. Even though the blot peppers aren't ripe yet, I think I might try one in a few days. The Ruwea pepper is off to a good start and is still setting small peppers at the top. We already harvested some Buena Mulatas and there are more setting on all the time. Oda peppers start out yellow, then gradually turn to purple, and then are red when fully ripe. I can already tell that the Ahi Rico is going to be a very productive pepper. The Sugar Rush Cream is getting peppers on it now, and I think this one's going to be productive too. When it comes to productivity, it's hard to beat Jimmy Nardello. Not only is it a great tasting pepper, but you get a lot of them. The Heritage Big Jim Chili Pepper doesn't have any peppers yet, but it's got lots of blooms. The Cubanelle is another pepper that's going to be very productive and already has a lot of peppers on. There's been noticeable growth in the beans from week to week, and this week was no exception. Most are to the top of their cages and beyond, and we're starting to get quite a few blooms now. The two types of melons in that cage are starting to climb, and the purple pole beans next to those are really growing fast. The blooms on this one are especially attractive and have a purple color. This variety just keeps growing and growing and has gone beyond the cage and climbed up the bamboo extensions and is about eight feet tall now. The variety in the cage next to those is also doing very well and is just now starting to produce flowers. The blooms on that one are a pink color. Some varieties are setting on better than others this is one called Sleeping Lady. The name of this one is Baronia, and it's my favorite from last year. This is one of the ones we have in a grow bag. It's called Lemon Ice. Here's another Sleeping Lady that we have growing over by our storm shelter. The cucumbers are just now starting to climb their cage well. I thinned some of these beets the day before and that's why they look just a little bit rough. We're really looking forward to making some pickled beets. The ornamental peppers in the grow bag are doing very well. I'm still liking the F2 Purple Flash Hybrid. On both sides of it are some New Mex Easter that are just now starting to produce peppers. And behind those are some explosive ember and they're also just now starting to produce. A couple of the F4 Oda hybrid peppers are now starting to produce and I'll be trying those soon. 
the Rosa Bianca and the Matoyo eggplants are starting to gain some size and the Matoyo has a little eggplant that is set on. If you're new to growing eggplants and you're wondering what causes all of those little bitty holes in the leaves, it's flea beetles. I did a video on three insects that like to eat eggplants and if you want to check that out I'll put a link down below. The Musa Bash Jew bananas are getting very tall and below those the Musa Velatina are just now starting to grow well. And our third variety the Dwarf Orinoco is only about 8 inches tall. The ginger that I planted over by the bananas is showing some growth now. And the turmeric next to the ginger looks like it likes that spot. This is the first time that I've grown amaranth. And one thing that I found out is that pigweed flea beetles love it. They don't seem to bother any other plant, but they love the amaranth. The japonica hybrid corn is about 5 feet tall now. And there's some japonica corn right behind it that's kind of hard to see. We'll get back here and take a look at a couple of leaves just so you can see what the japonica corn looks like. It's got variegated leaves and some of them can be very attractive. Like this one. This is the corn that I cross with my ornamental popcorn to produce my hybrids. This is a closer look at one of the hybrid leaves. They seem to have some faint striping that disappears as the leaves get older. I'm really looking forward to seeing the ears that these produce and I'm curious to see just how much influence the ornamental popcorn has on their appearance. Then I'll test how well they pop and how good they taste of course. I finally got around to thinning the quinoa and it's still doing pretty well so far. I pulled all the mammoth red mango beets but four. I'm going to let those four grow and we'll see what happens. They're just a little bit crowded by the French sorrel. We're growing six different types of carrots this year. I thinned them a little bit and here's some of the thinnings. These small ones are great for eating fresh and they're also good cooked. The butterfly weed is in full bloom now and I've been seeing lots of pollinator activity. I've seen quite a few different species of bees and even some honey bees. I figure anything that can help the bees is a good thing and it also helps the monarch butterflies. The Chicago coal hardy fig is growing very well and at some point I'll prune that back to more of a tree form. We also bought an Olympian fig this year and it's just now starting to grow well. The lemon spice jalapeno corbaki cross is getting peppers now so it won't be long till we can try one. The F3 black pearl hybrid pepper that we have out in the garden is just now starting to get buds so it's going to be a while before we get to see what type of peppers it has. The Chinese five color pepper is getting a few more peppers. I recently planted some of those F3 black pearl hybrid peppers and they're just now starting to come up. Some of them are pretty dark and some of them are not. The hollow logs that we use for petunia planters are having kind of a so-so year. They still add a lot of beauty and color to the garden though. Here's a better look at the smaller two. Here's a look at the petunia tower that I made that's right in front of those. It's doing very well. Let us know how your garden's doing. And don't forget to like this video and share it. We'll see you next time.